So Calvin, which movie do you want to watch? Calvin, come watch a movie with mommy. I need to figure this out. I've got to figure this out. Calvin, come watch the movie and I'll help you figure out what it, whatever it is that you need to figure out later on. Does that sound good? Okay, fine. So, which movie would you like to watch? How about we watch that one right there? I don't know about that one, Calvin, sweetie. Why'd you ask me then? I'm sorry, sweetie. I wasn't trying to upset you. I just don't want you to have all that violent stuff in your mind, okay? So how about this one? Fine. You can watch this one. I want ice cream and popcorn. Okay. But I have to go to the store and get it. I want ice cream and popcorn. Okay. I just have to go to the store and... Hey, Carter. Hey, Mom. What's up? Well, your brother's having one of his days again, and I'm trying to keep and remain calm. No, what's going on? He wants ice cream and popcorn because we're trying to watch a movie. Can you come and look after him while I run to the store real quick? Yeah, I'm not doing anything, so uh, I'll come. Okay, great. Thanks. Thank God you're here. Hey, Mom. Is he asleep? No, he's back there in his room. He's mad. He's not coming out until I go get ice cream. It's getting worse. Mom, I'm real sorry I can't come over here more often, but you know I got my own stuff going on. That's okay. I don't blame you. I just wish his dad wasn't so busy. He's not that bad when his dad is around. Yeah, that might be it. But uh, go on, go to the store. I'm going to stay here with him until you get back. All right. Hey. You have your gun with you? Yeah, I keep it with me all the time. Can you please make sure you put it up? Because Calvin has an obsession with guns. Make sure he doesn't get a hold of it. I got you, Mom. Go on, go to the store. Okay. Hey, Carter, what you doing here, man? Ah, uh, man, just come to check in you, man. I miss you, bro. I miss you, too. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, man. What you in here watching? I'm just watching this movie on Netflix. See, I got the guns, man. See that? It's cool, right? Give me something with us, man. I'm gonna go use the restroom real quick, right? Okay. All right, do your thing, man. Hey, don't go anywhere else, all right? Big bro just want to make sure you're safe, cool? <laughs> this boy crazy. I think mama dropped it. here there's a guy playing with a gun in the hallway of my apartment he said he's gonna shoot someone if they don't come out what is your address ma'am 2022 South Boulevard please hurry I'm really scared 
I'm concerned for our safety. Okay, ma'am, I am sending officers to your location now. Go inside your home and lock your doors. Drop your weapon! Get down on the ground now! Get down now! We're warning you, drop the gun now, get down! I'm not gonna tell you again, drop the- Calvin. Shoot. Calvin! Calvin, where you at, boy? Calvin! 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 Get your hands off me, man. That's my brother, man. Hey, hey, okay, okay. Calvin! Calm down, sir. Come talk to me real quick. That's my brother, man. Get your hand off me, man. Well, he was, he was in the hallway. He was waving around guns. People were getting afraid. Afraid of what, man? My brother is autistic, bro. He ain't gonna hurt nobody. Sir, why did he have a gun in his possession? <laughs> he like... Calvin was killed by the police. Carter went to jail, and once he got out, he blamed himself for what happened, and he went into a severe depression. But once he got out, he moved back in with his mom, and day by day, they helped each other through these hard times. But here's what could have happened had Carter just looked out for his brother. to catch me first, bro. Surrender, surrender now! Moral of the story is, just because someone with a mental illness seems well off, still look after them, because anything can happen in a matter of seconds.